It was here in Strasbourg on week 16 that Paris Saint-Germain suffered their first defeat of last season in Ligue 1 Conferama. The fans at the Stade de la Mina were hoping that lightning would strike twice as the champions came to town again on Wednesday, three days after dropping their first points of the current league campaign with a draw in Bordeaux. Thomas Tuchel leaving Kylian Mbappe on the bench with Neymar out injured. PSG's game with Montpellier on Saturday has been postponed after a police request with protests planned in Paris. The Capital Club will therefore have a few extra days to prepare for next Tuesday's Crunch Champions League clash with Red Star Belgrade. Well, it was by no means a vintage first half performance from the champions, but they still carved out a couple of half chances. Edinson Cavani with a little back heel there for Tom Meunier, but his effort was deflected over for a corner. Julian Draxer then trying his look from a free kick from distance. The German international taking it, but nothing to threaten the Belgian goalkeeper, Matt Sels. Strasbourg, though, have only lost one of their last eight league games, and they were looking to hit Paris on the counter-attack. Lionel Carroll coming forward here after a bad pass from Verratti, but Kevin Zoe's strike off target. Nothing to trouble Alphonse Ariola, picked ahead of Gianluigi Buffon in the PSG net. Well, six minutes before half time, Strasbourg won a penalty. Carroll coming forward again. His cross handled by Tilo Kera. The referee going to the VAR. And they awarded the spot kick. So Strasbourg with a great opportunity to take the lead shortly before half time. And Kenny Lillard, born in Paris, and who began his playing career at Paris FC, making absolutely no mistake. Getting his third goal of the season. And the first since late September, sending Ariola the wrong way. And the men are just starting to dream of another impressive result against the Capital Giants. Paris looking a bit ragged during that first half. So Tuchel reacted by bringing on Kylian Mbappe, who placed fourth in the Ballon d'Or rankings on Monday, behind the winner Luka Modric. Ahead of his teammates, Neymar in 12th and Edinson Cavani in 22nd. Well, Mbappe almost had an assist early in the second half. Crossing in here for Kera at the back post. But a brilliant save from Sels. Another effort here then from Mbappe. Looking to get a snapshot away. But pulling it wide of the target. Well, it was all Paris really in the second half. A free kick from Cavani, sailing just over. And unsurprisingly, it was that man Mbappe who made the difference. Winning a penalty. Lalar going from hero to zero. He was the man who brought down the 19-year-old. And so Cavani with the chance to bring Paris level. And El Matador slamming it. Hard into the corner, Sels went the right way. But it was just too powerful for him to claw it out. A tenth goal of the season for Cavani, joining Mbappe and Neymar on double figures. Tuchel's side continuing to push for the winner. A cross in from Meunier, a great header from Kera. But again, Sels equal to the effort. And in the end, Adrian Thomason might have won it late on for Strasbourg. A superb save at the other end from Ariola. As it finished, one apiece. A second straight draw for PSG. But they nevertheless remain unbeaten and 14 points clear of Lille. They can now focus on Red Star Belgrade next week. Strasbourg, meanwhile, continuing their good run. Their ninth, which is seven places higher than at the same stage last season.